Chapter 6, Lesson 5, Algebra Properties. Vocabulary. So first property that we have is the commutative property, which says that the order in which two numbers are added or multiplied does not change their value. So for example, 7 plus 9 is equal to 9 plus 7, and 4 times 6 is equal to 6 times 4. So the order in which numbers are added or multiplied, they still equal the same thing. This rule does not apply for subtraction or division. The next property that we have is the associative property. This says that the order in which three numbers are grouped with parentheses when they are added or multiplied does not change their value. For example, 3 plus parentheses around 9 plus 4 is the same as parentheses around 3 plus 9 plus 4 on the outside. The parentheses shifted to the 3 plus 9, but these two equations still have the same value. This property also applies for multiplication. So 4 times parentheses 3 times 5 is equal to the parentheses being switched to the 4 times 3 with the 5 on the outside. This rule also does not apply for subtraction or division. The last property is the identity property, which states that the sum of a number and 0 is always the same number, and the product of a number and 1 is always the same number. So for example, 13 plus 0 is 13, and 7 times 1 is 7. So any number that's added to 0 always stays the same, and any number that's multiplied with 1 always stays the same as well. These rules do apply to subtraction and division, because any number minus 0 is also itself, and any number divided by 1 is also the same number. Properties are statements that are true for any numbers. Some examples of properties are ones that we just saw on the previous page. Equivalent expressions have the same value. For example, 10 times 5 and 5 times 10 are equivalent because they both equal 50. Determine whether the two expressions are equivalent. If yes, tell what property is applied. If not, say why. Number 1. 15 plus parentheses around 5 plus 6 and parentheses around 15 plus 5 plus 6 on the outside. So I know that these expressions are equivalent. That is because these two expressions follow the associative property, which tells us that the order in which numbers are grouped when they're added or multiplied does not change their value. So if the parentheses moves from the 5 and the 6, to the 15 and the 5, these expressions are still going to have the same value. Number 2, 20 minus 12 minus 3 on the outside and 20 minus parentheses 12 minus 3. These expressions are not equivalent and although they look like they're using the associative property, the associative property does not apply to subtraction or division. So in this case, these expressions would not be equivalent. We can always solve the expressions to check that this is true. So 20 minus 12 gives us 8, 8 minus 3 gives us 5. Here we have to do parentheses first by order of operations. So 12 minus 3 gives us 9, 20 minus 9 gives us 11. These are not equivalent expressions. Determine whether the two expressions are equivalent. If yes, tell what property is applied. If not, say why. 35 plus 0 does equal 35, so it is equivalent to 35. We also know this because this is the identity property, which states that any number added to 0 is always equal to that same number. Number 4, 20 divided by 5 and 5 divided by 20. 20 divided by 5 gives us 4, 5 divided by 20 gives us 1 fourth. So these are not equivalent. The order in which the numbers are being divided has been switched, which looks like the commutative property. But the commutative property does not apply to subtraction or division. Pause the video here and try these problems yourself to check for understanding.
In a recent season, the Kansas Jayhawks had 15 guards, four forwards, and three centers on their roster. Write two equivalent expressions using the associative property that can be used to find the total number of players on their roster. Well, to find the total number, I know that I need to add 15 plus 4 plus 3. And I know that the associative property tells me that it doesn't matter which order the numbers are grouped in. So I could group 4 plus 3 and add them first, or I could group 15 plus 4 and add those numbers first and then add 3, and these will equal the same value. So these two expressions, this being expression number 1 and this being expression number 2, are equivalent expressions by the associative property. Example 6. The area of a triangle can be found by using the expression 1 half b times h, where b is the base and h is the height. Find the area of the triangle shown at the left. So we have 1 half times, I know that a number next to a letter means multiplication, so times our base times our height. So for the triangle at the left, we have a base or a bottom of 15 times, and then we have a height of 12. So we can use the commutative property to switch the places of the 15 and the 12 to make this an easier expression to solve. So by switching their places, we'll have 1 half times 12 times 15. So I can put a 1 under our whole number 12 and cross simplify. 2 goes into itself once and 2 goes into 12 6 times. So now we multiply. 1 times 6 gives us 6. 1 times 1 gives us 1. That equals 6. Then bring down our times 15. 15 times 6. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9. This equals 90 feet squared. Pause the video here and try these two problems to check for understanding.